This is a follow-on video from 3D Construction Detail. I'm going to use the FBX file I export from Revit and annotate the model. Download 2012 because it is easier to set up the rendering in iRay. So, starting off, use Alt instead of Shift like you do in Revit to actually move around in the 3D view. I want to actually import the FBX file, so go up to M in the top left hand corner and I want to go to import. So I want to import and I want to go to the actual desktop, down to the bottom and this is the file I exported. So I'll click OK. Click OK. And now, as you can see, I have my FBX file. So I want to actually delete the camera. There's also a daylight. We want to delete all that. And I want to create a new one. So go up to create. I want to go to lights. And I want to go to daylight system. So click yes. And this is your compass. Uh, I want to bring this up high and that's my daylight system created so now I want to talk about materials so when you press M you go into the materials so you don't want to go mental right and you want to go to the Autodesk Material Library. So you have all the different types of materials and you can change them. So if I actually pull them in here, so I'll just go wood. I pull them in here, I double click and I can actually t change the color. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can change but basically I will use the same type so I just go birch, it doesn't matter, you hold, you click there and you hold and you can actually move it. You can actually select them as well when we get out of the daylight system select them and right click and assign material to selection so just use the actual materials that are already there it's just handier so I want to change the render and setup so you go up here to render setup and you see in the common tab and you go down to the very bottom and you go to assign render and it says mental ray render and I want to change this change this to eye ray render and I just want to see what it looks like so I render it So it comes out a bit grey in the background and I want to change this. And also I have no materials on anything. So click X. Click X again. Click X. And I want to go into my environment. So this is my environment. I can also press A in the keyword. So under rendering, environment. And I have mistress sky we call it press M for materials or you can press material editor so I want to pull this into the material editor I want to create an instance and additional parameters and we have ground color doesn't matter about the night color and I want to bring this down to white so click OK. I'm also going to change this. Click OK. And get out. So you want to render it again. So 
you can see it's turning white. So I want to start putting materials on the actual model. So first you do is you press M or you press the material editor. So here I have is all the materials. And I don't want to go into uh, standard materials or mental ray. I want to go down to the Autodesk material library. So basically what you do then is you just pull and drag and that's the material set and if I want to put different material on the joints I might have to zoom in a bit more so you don't want to catch the wrong thing and there we go I'm gonna have to do the same because they're actually not so replace it blocks depends on what materials you have and then if I want to change something like it's plastic here I want it to be smooth but so smooth black but I don't want it glossy so double click you have to put it out here first double click and it actually is already on matte so if that was on glossy you might change it to matte so basically you can just pull this dot and attach it there same with metal so if we go down to metal and I want to go to so steel is galvanized so I want to use these joist brackets. I also want to change these bolts. Okay. And sometimes they don't come out the exact way you want them, but and sometimes you can't find the material you want, but you have to you might have to change it out here in the materials, but I'm not going to do that. It's uh, there's a lot of work, so I might just change all these. And it depends whether it's the same mass or not. If it's the same mass or not, it'll change change them all. So just change all these. And basically when you're finished doing all that, we can then start animating it. So when you've all the materials done, you want to create a camera. So basically when you m I want to move over here because I know this wall and these parts insulation are going to come in first so I'm going to move here and I'm going to press control and C control C and this will create camera and I know I'm in a camera because it's camera 001 and if I press P it'll go into perspective so I want to zoom out and I want to go to the top I want to bring this front in, in, in. And basically, I want to click auto because this, these are the, these are the keyframes, and auto it automatically does the keyframes for you. So press auto, and now you want to move. You're actually frames, and you want to move it to say 25, and you want to move the camera. So we move the camera over here. And now when I go back, let's see that the camera moves. So take off auto again. And I'll press C to go into the camera. And I will actually press play. So you can see that it moves. 
but it's not working particularly well so I'll actually click select by name and I'll go down to camera camera 1 and select it and shown so I go in again and I click target and I'll actually move this down Yeah, that's better. It moves now. So now I'll have all these two coming in and this. And by the time that's all done, it will come over here and you'll see the other end.